Did you know that dreams can either be born or borrowed? You can either borrow a dream or you can have it in you born with, from within yourself. Now, it's important for you to understand that dreams that are borrowed are not so good. Because dreams that are borrowed, they never give you a guarantee of success. And therefore, there is need for you to be creative. There is need for you to actually have it coming from within yourself. Now, many times we may want to borrow things here and there. It is okay sometimes to draw, borrow from somebody because you're seeing somebody else doing it and somehow they are succeeding. But you don't know the journey that person has had for them to be able to come to the place where they are at right now. And therefore, when we quickly go ahead and borrow somebody else's dream, what you're doing to yourself is that you are, you're, you're, you're cutting short or you're, sh you're cutting yourself short of actually becoming what you really ought to become. You may actually end up succeeding somehow, somehow. You may, but the reality of the matter is you will not be able to succeed. Because whenever you're doing somebody else's thing, it's never ever a guarantee that that thing is going to succeed. Now, it is important for you to understand that you can actually learn from somebody else. You can be mentored, you can be taught, you can have somebody else teaching you in a certain thing that has to do with your dream or has to do with yourself. Other than you just copy pasting whatever dream he has and just trying to do the same thing because he has done it. Because many times when you try to duplicate what somebody else has done or what somebody else is dreaming, you end up failing because you have not gone through the journey. You have not gone through what he has gone through. And eventually what happens, you do not succeed in whatever it is that you are doing. When you're starting off a dream, it's, it's, it's okay to have people encouraging you. You know, it's not a borrowed dream. It's your own creativity. It's okay to allow people to encourage you. It is okay to have people who are speaking into your life. It's okay to have accountability partners and people who can actually speak into your life. But it is important for you to realize that eventually, after they encourage you at the beginning, eventually you become an authority in your dream. I've been speaking in previous videos concerning a young man called Joseph. Uh, we were looking at uh, Genesis chapter number 37. And I talked to you about how he began the stages he has gone through. You can check on some of those videos that I'm talking about dreams. But there is another part of him in Genesis chapter 42 where we eventually find himself coming to that place, the apex of his dream, and he's actually now at his place of dream. And the day comes when he needs to fulfill in his, his dream. If you read uh, 42 from around verse 6 going downwards, and what happens? You find that his own family members come to him and they literally have to do what the dream was at the beginning and why are they doing it like that they are doing it like that because his dream has already positioned him in a place where they have no choice but to bow before him i know i'm speaking to some of you right now who probably have been discouraged by relatives have been discouraged by friends have been uh, you know there are people who have despised you there are people who have thought you're just being you know they, they are speaking about you backbiting you and just saying how useless you are and how you cannot be able to achieve anything as far as life is concerned but guess what the moment that dream of yours becomes a reality the moment they see you walking and driving those cars and walking those monies and living in those houses and doing the things that you dream to do. When they see you doing that, believe me you, they will be bowing before you. So what am I saying? At the beginning, you will probably just need a few people to encourage you. You will need people who can at least, mentorship is important or who can uh, advise you here and there. There is need for that every time you are starting off and you are going on. But eventually I want you to know that you will end up becoming an authority in that area of your dream. And not only will you become an authority, but you will be a person where people will admire, people will love, people will want to follow, people will bow before you. And I mean it, bowing before you literally. Some people you didn't expect to listen to you will actually listen to you. Because when you are dream has started showing results or when the dream is eventually being realized that dream itself is what propels you to that position joseph he was in that position because his dream took him there he was the brothers did not bow before him because of the little young brother of theirs they knew no 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 they were bowing before him because of the dream he had which had actually made him be in that position 
his own father were bowing before him because the dream demanded that they bow before him. I want you to know that your dream will demand that people will follow you. People will listen to you. People will want to be around you. People will bow before you. And I don't make a means my word when I say that because I know the higher you go and the more you realize your dream, the more your dream becomes a reality, the more people have a hearing ear for you. You see, that's what it's all about. And that's why you cannot stop dreaming. That is why that passion that you're having right now towards your dream, you must continue making it stronger and stronger and stronger. Now, remember, whenever you are a passionate person, passion will always generate enthusiasm within you. And I am asking you right now as I speak to you that be enthusiastic about your dream. Be enthusiastic about it. Take care of it. Nurture it so well. Don't don't just assume, don't think it's something you slept and dreamt and woke up and that is the end of the story. No, 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 no. There is something that is in you that you need on a daily basis to be working on. Be enthusiastic about it, you know, because when you have that kind of a passion, it will generate enthusiasm. It will generate enthusiasm. And you need to understand Understand whenever you are enthusiastic about something, enthusiasm has a tendency of pushing you into a place of power, into a place of becoming powerful. Because when people see you are driven, you are going towards whatever it is that you're dreaming, you're enthusiastic about it, and then they see the kind of energy you're putting in there that causes them to respect you. And the kind of respect that they are giving you is what I eventually con uh, turn around and call it power upon your life. You become a powerful person because people will respect you when they see you pursuing your vision with enthusiasm. When they see you pursuing your vision with enthusiasm, you need to understand people who are dreamers, favor will always find them. Whenever you have a dream, enthusiastic about it, there is power. People follow you. People are seeing something that is going on in your life. The truth of the matter is you will find yourself having open doors everywhere. You will find yourself having favors everywhere. You will find yourself sitting in places you never ever thought you'd ever sit. You will see yourself finding calls, getting calls from people you never expected that could call you. You will find yourself getting into meetings you never thought you could get into those meetings. Why is that so? The moment your dream becomes a reality, it will open doors big wide doors for you that is why you should never never stop being enthusiastic about that dream of yours never stop dreaming and never stop being enthusiastic you should continue pushing it with passion you should continue pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and you should continue making it a reality on a daily a daily daily basis which basically means you must stay focused in as far as your dream is concerned don't allow things to distract you. Don't allow issues to distract you. Don't allow discouragements to distract you. Don't even allow your people, people around you to distract you because sometimes people can distract you so much. Cause you not to fulfill your dream because they are bringing in other agendas. They are bringing you to a place where they want you to do their things. They want you to do what they think is right for you. You need to say no to that. You need to say no to that. You need to stay focused and stay focused. Focused means what? Focused means you're only looking at that dream and that dream alone. There is nothing else you're looking at. You know you're going north and that's the direction you're going. You know you're going east and that's the direction you're going. You don't go east and west and north and east. No, 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 no. You go one direction. That is what being focused is all about. People who are focused don't allow things to come and distract them. They don't allow things to come and mess them up in their way of thinking. They don't allow things to come and mess them up in the way of speaking. You see, when you're focused, even the way you speak, the things you say with your mouth concerning yourself and concerning your dream, you will say the correct thing. Why? Because you know that what you say has a lot to do with where you're going. You will see the right things because you know what you're seeing as far as your life is concerned has a lot to do with your destination. So please listen to me. Never, never, never allow yourself to be in a place where people are distracting you from your dream. You must remain focused. That dream which came upon you, that you came up with, you know, not borrowed, borrowed well, forget about borrowed, borrowed no, but you created it, it's within yourself, you must give it all that you have, you must completely immerse yourself in it. 
You must completely give yourself to it. The problem with many people is that they dream, but they don't want to work towards it. They don't want to work towards it. They don't want to put effort towards it. They don't want to have enthusiasm towards it. They don't have passion towards it. That's the problem with many people. They, they will have dreams, yes. They will have big dreams, yes, but they are doing nothing about it. In this video, I'm challenging you that whatever dream you have, whether you borrowed it or it's your own, and I hope it is your own, you put effort on it, put enthusiasm on it, and believe me you, eventually, that dream is going to cause you to sit in places you have never sat before. It's going to take you to places you have never been to before. I have never forgotten the very first time when I started going international. I will never forget the way it felt when I first found myself in an aeroplane. <laughs> and I remembered one time, you know, when, when let me give a small story as I conclude. I remember my very first trip internationally was to a neighboring country from my country. So I actually didn't even go by plane or by anything. I went by bus. But I remember when I crossed the border, one of the guys that we were with, one of actually my mentor, he looked at me, took my passport and said, now that you have crossed the border for the first time, from today, your international doors have opened. You will see yourself going to places. I was still a very young man and I looked at him and I thought to myself, wow, man, I am across the border right now. I've come by bus and I'm across the border. And I thought to myself, man, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be great. I was very excited about that mission. And from that mission, I never stopped dreaming about going international. And eventually, the first international mission came and I found myself flying to Germany. I've never forgotten that day when I was seated that night because the flight was at night on a Lufthansa Airlines. I was seated there and heading to Germany for the first time, heading to Europe for the first time. I was looking there inside the plane and looking at the seats and touching everything and just getting excited. Why? Because whenever your dream is realized, there is something about it that is just amazing. And from that moment, you find people even start respecting you and dealing with you differently because you can never realize your dream and remain the same. My hope for you, my prayer for you is that whatever it is that you're dreaming about, you will keep on focusing on it. Let there be enthusiasm about it. Be passionate in everything that you're doing. And until eventually it will be realized and the very people who ridiculed you, they will come and bow before you. The very people who thought you are nothing, they will come to borrow from you. You know what? Today I wanted to simply remind you again that dreams can be borrowed or they can be born. My prayer and hope for you is that yours is actually born from you. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me all the way to the end. If you're here in the channel for the first time and you're new, please go ahead and subscribe. Let me hear something from you also. Those of you who have listened, like, comment. Let's just have a dialogue, you know. Let this not be a monologue channel. Let this be a dialogue. Let me hear something from you. And I really appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you so much. From Monday to Friday, every day at 9 a.m., I'm here, Central Standard Time, here in the U.S. God bless you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.